guys all that hat tipping deserves some likes and some subs so we're about to hit 140,000 subscribers you can help us get there by hitting subscribe drop me a follow on my twitch channel you can see at the top right hand side corner and we're going for 3,000 likes you can see that in the top left corner so i am showing you as it happened live on my twitch channel i completed the bounty on my hunter yeah that's right i'm on my hunter in this match by the way so prepare yourselves for some hunter gameplay and you can see the role we got full choke rifle barrel surplus demolitionist we had really bad mag perks appended mag extended mag we did get a good range master work and here's the thing i wasn't expecting much when i saw this shotgun i did the quest on my hunter because if you guys don't know the shoddy is not dropping from tokens or completed bounties you can only get it from the quest step where it drops so i got a really bad roll on my titan it was like hip fire grip unrelenting and i figured this one is a slightly better roll right surplus is decent demolitionist is going to give me my grenade back and at least i got rifle barrel and a range masterwork so i don't have one of those crazy iron reach rolls that you've probably been seeing on other videos but that being said i wanted to give this thing a try the wrist walker and i have got to be honest with you i was surprised there, there's something about this shoddy because you guys just saw my roll it's not the best roll in the world is it and yet i was putting in work with this thing kind of weird doesn't make a whole lot of sense but that is what went down i'm using the footage from my live stream today by the way so obviously if the footage isn't as crystal clear as before it's because i'm using the stream footage if you haven't dropped me a follow on my twitch channel yet make sure you do because you could have seen this match live i played on my hunter for like five hours today a rare thing to see i also have a really great role on the finite impactor my rng with the finite impactor was much much better and i have a really really interesting role here killing wind and multi kill clip i believe is this one but i have another role with heating up an eye of the storm that i believe is also a very very nice so we've got two new guns in this gameplay and on top of that your boy is on a hunter which you don't see very often and i've got to confess and i know this is going to sound like betrayal but I think I played on my Hunter for about 4 or 5 hours and I was playing top 3 Arc Strider, which in my opinion is an honourable Hunter class. For my Titans out there, I'm sorry, but I enjoyed playing on my Hunter today. It was fun. It was fun. I ain't gonna lie. I enjoyed it. And you know what? Don't be mad at me because like I said, I was playing top 3 Arc Strider, Way of the Warrior. Now, if you're a Titan main, you can relate to a Warrior, right? This is a fun subclass, a lot of close range, explosive gameplay. It's really, really fun and using the mobility of a hunter to be aggressive instead of being a rat is uh, it's, it's quite fun. So for my hunter mains out there who are watching this, try it out. Although don't take tips from me on how to use the Arc Strider Super because, you know, I, I'm, I'm terrible, first of all. And second of all, Arc Strider Super. That, I mean, nothing else needs to be said. Ouch, that one hurt. That one hurt real bad. But going back to the wrist walker. So yeah, like I said, I don't have iron reach. I don't even have a good magazine perk. So you want either accurized rounds for more range or you want assault mag for more rate of fire, taking the rate of fire up to 90. And that being said, this thing was hitting nice, man. It was connecting consistently for me. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, this thing was connecting for me very consistently. I had very, very few situations where you know, I would hit someone and not do damage to them, for example, or just completely whiff. Is this going to replace aggressive frame shotguns? Hmm. I don't know. You'd have to ask the aggressive frame mains that question. For me, as someone who's a slug shotgun main, this shotty feels real good. With that being said, I'm used to having to hit headshots for my one hit kills. So maybe that's why it felt good to me, just not having to aim for once. But it, it felt good to me. Right there, I was out of range. But I believe if you were to get an absolutely optimal roll, by the way, this shotgun can roll firmly planted, by the way. So firmly planted on this shoddy could make this insanely consistent in terms of the pellet spread. I haven't got my hands on one yet, but if I do get my hands on a firmly planted iron reach roll on this shoddy, I will really have to put it through its paces and let you guys know because it could be absolutely disgusting. I also think you want to prioritize assault mag instead of accurized rounds in the magazine slot. Once you get Iron Reach and Rifle Barrel and a Range Masterwork, your range is going to be basically full. And what I suspect is going to happen then when you get that shoddy is this thing's going to be doing max damage at really far away. And that's not going to be enough to one bang at, say, like 10 meters. But you'll be able to consistently two tap people at around 10 meters. And the second thing is, if you get someone weak and no shields, you're going to be able to clean them up from very, very far away. And that is a big part of shotgun play is cleaning people up, getting them weak with your primary, and then finishing off the job with the shoddy. I think this will do a great job of that. Again, the two taps with assault mag 
will be really, really good. And Firmly Planted, obviously, if you guys don't know about Firmly Planted, it's a perk where you get increased accuracy when you crouch, right? But it also counts when you slide. And if you're using a shotgun, you're going to be sliding a lot, right? So, yeah, that's where I'm going with this. Firmly Planted, Iron Reach, Assault Mag, Rifle Barrel, Range Masterwork, you are good to go. I really don't think Quick Draw is a necessity here. This is a lightweight frame shoddy. That brings up to the next point. It's a lightweight frame shoddy. It gives you a plus 20 to your mobility and it has naturally good handling. So it's not going to handle extremely cumbersome like an aggressive frame shoddy where you need, you know, surplus or quick draw. That being said, I did have surplus on this shoddy and I think it was helping to make it feel even snappier, but it just felt snappy in general, I think, with it being a lightweight frame. I don't think you really need to worry too much about that. So to sum up, this shoddy is really, really nice. I can't wait to get a better roll. I think it's really cool that now Iron Banner can provide you with a good loadout for PvP right off the rip. You get this shoddy, you can get the Finite Impactor, and you can go in there and you've got a solid loadout. Is Finite Impactor as good as Palindrome? Maybe not. Is this thing as good as, a, what do you call it, the Astral Horizon? Maybe not. But you can go into PvP, you don't even have to pay for this, free to play, and you can get your hands on some really, really good stuff and get in the Crucible. So that's the end of the video guys, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. Check out my sponsors, Advanced, Battle Beaver Customs and Evolve PC, DFP, code DFP that is for 10% off. Check me a follow on Twitter as well and check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash shake. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. time